You know what I think? You know these stories where the devil walks into heaven and goes, ha, 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 look at Job or, you know, all this stuff. And I remember reading that and I'm thinking, really, the devil? Like he walks into heaven and he talks to God? Apparently it's possible because we read it in the Bible. And you know what? Every time we succumb to anger, to pride, to judgment, to, to whatever it is, okay? I'm not going to name a list of, of stuff. You know what I think? I think the devil goes in to heaven and goes, ha, 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 look at her. She's acting just like me. You made her in your image, but she's worshiping me. God is looking for people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. What does that actually mean? What does it mean to worship God in spirit and in truth? Okay, we have spirit, we know that, that's Holy Spirit. And truth, I believe, is the word of God. One of the foundational pillars of this congregation, David and Karen, who you met, and, and the worship that Karen has led over the years here is marked by this marriage of, of worship, spirit, and worship word. The word of God, the, the word of God being sung out in, in, in this context of the Holy Spirit. We can't go you know, too much this way or too much that way. We'll talk about it um, in the next session. What, is, what does that actually mean? I believe that worshiping God in spirit and in truth is aligning ourselves with the worship of heaven.